Hello and welcome back to AC's Make and Repair. Today on the channel we're going to cover one of the most overlooked things in the workshop concerning maintenance. And that's maintenance of your air compressor. A lot of people today have an air compressor in their workshop. Mine's a 17 CFM or 480 litres a minute uh, air compressor. It's quite a good compressor for a cross section of work. I've got it piped throughout my workshop. I have it on a shelf which gets it up out of the road and I store stuff underneath it. So today I'm going to be covering just a basic service of uh, changing the oil as well as changing or cleaning the air filter as such. Only replacing if it needed to be replaced. Look I strongly suggest you do this on a regular basis if you can. My, my instruction manual uh, on the maintenance schedule uh, it says every five months or every 500 hours on the compressor, it says every three months. Look, but I'd look. I'd ask you to look in your uh, manual if you still have one, or look it up online to see how often you should do it. So often we leave it for years. We look at that little viewing glass, and we think it'll be fine. And today I drained the oil out of mine again. It's been actually, believe it or not, several years since I did it. Uh, I probably should have done it before now. Would have probably easily done the 500 hours and it was neglected so I needed to do it. Not that it's damaged at all. Uh, the oil was quite clean when it come, when it looked like it was running out. When I got in a tin you could see it was a little bit dirty so I'm glad I did the oil change. So look at your book, look up what type of oil you need. You can get oil from um, a lot of spare parts places, sell uh, air compressor oil and air tool oil but get the one specific for your type of compressor. Piston type of compressors take it usually a different type of oil to screw comp compressors. So bear that in mind too. A lot of your um, spare parts places will have an idea what would be the best oil for your compressor. On the other hand you could probably ring a compressor a specialist and ask them uh, what type of oil they might even be able to supply some oil for you at a cost too. So come along with me today and I'll show you how to clean and inspect the air filter and also how to change the oil too. Okay the first maintenance thing I'm going to do on this compressor is I'm going to change the oil. In this case I think this is called a FASCO pump head, it's a twin cylinder. Um, there's a drain plugged down here with an allen key head, I'll undo it. There is also a, a um, oil level glass here that you can undo too. Now in the situation I am, my compressor is on a shelf in the shed. It's up on a shelf so I have to get up on a stool to actually do this. I'm going to just undo the small bung which is the one down here. You can see this one here. I'll undo it now and drain it. And um, I've just got a small tin here, that's all I need. It's only a small amount of oil that we have in this compressor so this little particular tin will catch I believe all the oil so I'll just I've actually tilted the compressor so it's leaning this way a bit just gonna undo that by hand a bit more um, I'm just gonna undo that now till it's nearly out and then I'll just take it out by hand so undo that now your drain plug might be in a different spot uh, before the end of the video I'll try to Show you some other compressors I've got and how they're to be drained. Some do drain through the, the oil viewing glass. There's a long bolt in this one. Okay, we're nearly out. Here we go. Oh, anyway, so we're draining now. It shouldn't take long to drain. Like I said, you'd be lucky if there's uh, three or four hundred mils in this. So I've actually run the compressor, it is actually still warm to touch which will aid in the draining of it. It also aids in getting any imp impurities out too. Oil is very clean for its age. Very, very clean for its age. So that's the great sign. As it turned out, I could have um, could have filled the tin, only had a little bit to do. 
All right, I've replaced the drain plug. Do that up firmly. Got over tight, you don't want to strip it out. One thing I will say is inspect this uh, viewing, oil level viewing cap. Sometimes they, they are a solid plastic one, which is transparent. And sometimes they get cracks in them behind near yeah, the threads. And also the ones that are steel, sometimes they have little o-ring around where the glass goes in that leaks. So keep an eye on that and sometimes you'll get a stain across your gl the glass uh, on your compressor and it'll look like it's full because it'll be the, the stain will be across the glass at the level mark. I actually um, wrecked the compressor once because I used to check the level quite regularly. It was actually a stain um, that was across the glass and one day it, it ran low on oil and it subsequently had a failure which ended in its death. So that was no good. So keep an eye on your oil level, it's a crucial thing. Uh, but we'll now, before we uh, replace the oil, we'll go up here to the air filter. Now, on mine, the air filter is uh, up the top here. I'll just zoom in up there. See up there? So I'll just go up there and I'll unscrew those two bolts. I actually pre loosen them to make it a bit easier on me. So there's two uh, Allen key. Uh, bolts in there and we'll just undo them while we're up here take it off okay so this is my air filter and you can see it's a little bit grubby on the outside it's only got these little holes to breathe through uh, needs a bit of a clean down for sure so that's the inside uh, filter and what I'll do is I'll take that and I'll clean it out as you can see it's a bit grotty in the edge here where it does breathe in through I'll take it I'll actually take the whole lot and give it a, a wash with some warm soapy water and inspect it to make sure it's not falling to pieces it seems to it quite good still the foam so I'll take that and wash it with warm soapy water I'll subsequently dry it air dry it not in full sun probably and make sure it's thoroughly dry before I put it back in now I don't think you'll need filter oil on this uh, it's a fairly con uh, dense foam in it i think that would be more than ample for what it what it does the back side is actually quite clean which indicates it's not overly fouled so we'll do that now i'll wash that in warm soapy water and like i said some some uh, are different this is a filter housing off an uh, it's an air filter housing off another a little compressor i have and usually there's a little piece of foam in here so while you swap this over and the new uh, filter housing I had didn't have the bit of foam which was quite good still so it was the same size so I put it in a new one this one's actually split and stripped out or it's actually stripped the thread on it the housing itself is quite good but the thread's no good so that's the only reason I changed that's one stall you get round ones uh, with the wing nut in the middle same thing you undo them take your filter out give them a good wash and warm soapy water and give them a good rinse out and that's your air filter done now this is a three cylinder petrol driven air compressor um, it's my son's he's actually just reconditioning it at the moment he's just put new air filter uh, on it they've got a little foam filter inside here this is the breather hole he's actually put a filter on it too because the original breather was pretty hopeless so he's put a one so no dirt and that gets in the motor your drain plug for it is down here just the other little drain plug and there's a viewing glass as you can see there um, see it, there you go. So, if you've got a twin cylinder or a three cylinder like this is, uh, it might be similar to that. I also have this little tiny air compressor, and it's very tiny. This is the this is the uh, viewing hole for the oil level, but you can also drain it through that too. And up here, up there is a um, a breather that's where you fill it through okay and there's the air filter on the side there too the one that has a little bit of foam in the middle that I was telling you about so that's just a little tiny one that you can carry in one hand and it's quite good I got it repaired uh, many years ago it's cracked here and here uh, it's got a slight leak though the o-ring is leaking just here and this I have to replace this I've got a spare one so I'm going to replace it one day Okay, fitting of the air for list, the reversal of removal of it. 
uh, if you had a gasket behind to replace the gasket uh, or use the same gasket whatever but uh, fit it the same way as it came back off my air fillers had ample time to dry so I'll just do these bolts up just firm they don't need to be uh, rock hard to strip the threads at all Enough. Okay, now for the oil fill, oil uh, filling of the oil. All right, we're going to fill the oil now. Um, what I've done is I've taken out the oil level viewing glass. It's a bigger hole, and the reason I've done that is to fill through this hole. It's a very narrow opening, and if any of you have had any experience filling uh, oil through a narrow opening, sometimes it bubbles up and overflows uh, as it's filling, and that can be quite uh, annoying to say the least so what we're going to do is I'm going to fill the majority uh, through the viewing hole which is in this case it's a bit of a three quarter of inch hole so I'll fill through there now and I'll do the majority through that uh, hole I made a, a special funnel to do the job so I'll fill there now and it'll take a bit to to um, do what we've got to do okay I filled enough through that hole the rest of it I'll fill through the the little breather hole uh, this is the breather that goes on top of in here usually so I've taken the breather out some have a dipstick in here so you can check your level my, in my case mine's a viewing glass I'm just going to do it up um, not very super tight because these do crack like I said before so I'll just do it up enough to to tighten it up that's more than enough so it won't leak if I notice the leaking over the next couple of days because I can see this quite easily um, I will tighten it up more so now we'll just fill the rest of it through here and we can get to watch it come up in the viewing glass Nearly there. The last little bit just take care so you don't overfill it. So I'm just watching the, the viewing glass here. 
there's a little dot in the middle and when it reaches the dot in the middle of the glass that means it's up to level just a little bit more and there we have it just replace breather wipe off any excess, I had a little bit bubble up before not a lot yeah, the other thing I recommend that you do is on your compressor somewhere uh, maybe just even with it'll be some masking tape um, on your compressor somewhere maybe down here somewhere on the side there just as you can see there was a couple of bits of tape just there just here uh, I had before so I put a piece of tape here and I wrote the date that I did the surface on all right no worries okay all that remains to be done now is to give it a test run I would suggest also you regularly uh, drain your tank I, I drain ours regularly quite regularly uh, and if I'm doing a lot of spray painting or uh, using the compressor a lot especially in rainy weather etc I make sure I drain it regularly it's just a drain daily um, I wish I could say I didn't do it daily, but I don't. I usually do it um, when I remember it, which can be daily on some cases, but uh, also could be weekly when I'm not using it a lot. There's some other maintenance schedules here. Um, they say every three months to do the oil. Um, most people probably wouldn't do it that often because they don't use it a lot. However, it does need doing. So I'll just switch it on and we'll see how she runs. Thanks for watching today. I hope you found that uh, instructional and helpful to you. I strongly suggest though, if you can, maintain your compressor well. Like I said, it's one of the most overlooked under maintained uh, tools in your workshop in most workshops uh, today thanks for watching please like and subscribe catch you on the next one